Having a good panoramic is important for any production and is an inherent part of mixing. It is important to have your instrument well placed in the space to have a good balance between them, which would lead to a better mix. You can place the sound from left to right within the pan knob of your door. This would allow you to place your instruments like you would hear them on stage for example. But sometimes you need a particular sound to be on both sides instead of just left or right. You just need to have a wider sound. So here are 6 tips to make your sound wider. The stereo of a sound is due to the fact that your left ear hears some things different than your right ear. You'd know that a sound is coming from a side because the sound in your ears would be at different volumes. It would come at different times. If a sound comes from the right, for instance, it would take a slightly longer time to reach your left ear and it would be composed of different frequencies depending on how the sound bounces around before it reaches each ear. So here is the sound we'll use as an example. Number 1. Short delay. Place a simple delay on your instrument. Then you don't want that on sync, but in time, so one ear would just be delayed by, let's say, 8 milliseconds, and you want the effect to be full wet. Number two, the track delay. First duplicate your track, and at the bottom right there is the D button, that allows you to delay one track by a few milliseconds and then simply set one track on the left and one track on the right. Add the other two tracks playing at the same time, I'll group that and lower the volume of the group. Number 3, Stereo EQ. In Ableton's EQ8, you can choose the LR mode instead of mono. This would allow you to set a different EQ for each ear. First do the EQ of your left ear and then click on the L to switch to the right ear. Number 4, Utility. There is a useful effect in Ableton called Utility that allows you to spread your sound more on the sides. Notice that on this track I have a small reverb and still our EQ from earlier. Number 5. Vary your effect from one ear to another. Let's say you have this instrument, let's group that and create another chain, so one chain is on the left and one chain is on the right. And I'll also lower the volume so the overall volume will stay quite the same. And let's say you're supposed to have an overdrive on this instrument. Then I'll set slightly different parameter for each overdrive for each ear. Number 6. Record twice. If you have a live instrument that you record with a microphone, don't hesitate to record it twice. So you'll have one recording on the left side and one recording on the right side. This would really open your mix. So here is the first recording just with one track. And here is the same thing with two recordings. And that's all guys, I hope that was useful to some of you and thanks for passing by and thanks for watching.